Welcome to Learning Beyond Paper, an innovative online curriculum that can help you lesson plan for all of your ages in a flash. When you first log in to Learning Beyond, you'll see your teacher reflections and assessments. You'll also be able to add any new students. We can do all of your setup for you, but if you wanna do it yourself, you can click this getting started video and that will walk you through step, step by step. Shop for materials will take you to our Lakeshore partnership, but you'll notice as we go through the curriculum, most of the things you'll already have on hand or can easily swap out. To get to your curriculum, you'll go to the three blue lines at the top right and then click teacher. Now we're in the teacher view of the curriculum. The blue smiley face says pre-K four right now. So we're in the pre-K four curriculum. But if I click here, I can select any of the other age groups. Your infants and younger toddlers are going to provide four lessons per week for you to choose from. The reason for the weekly lesson plan is this age group is gonna need a lot more repetition with the same activities in order to acquire those skills. Our older toddlers are on the move. They're ready for more variety. And so that's when we switch into the daily lesson plan. Two-year-olds have access to four lessons that you can use each day. And then our preschool three and pre-K four curriculum has five lessons each day for you to choose from. Now, if you have mixed ages, it's really easy to adapt these lessons to all of your kiddos. We're gonna dive in deeper to pre-K four and I'll show you how. This first tile is our lesson plan overview. This is the best way to explore the curriculum when you get started. At the top, you'll see the blue one with the plus and minus. If I click there, I can select any of our other weeks. Keep in mind that Learning Beyond is already in a developmental progression for you. So when we look at our pre-K, this is week one, just got to that age group, week 52, leaving and moving on to kindergarten. All of our skills are gonna increase in difficulty throughout the year, and then we'll be cycling through those standards. This is printable and downloadable. And then what's really nice is you have all of the activities and objectives on one screen, and this is all clickable. So as I'm planning for my group, I might not want to use all of the activities from pre-K four. Maybe I'm just selecting a couple. And so say I wanna see fingerprint study, I'll click there and that will take me to the full lesson plan overview. The other way to explore the curriculum is through daily activities. At the top, again, we have our blue for our week and then we have our yellow for our day number. Learning Beyond is labeled days one through five, not Monday through Friday. So you have flexibility in the way that you plan if you wanna switch some of the days or extend activities over multiple days. At the top, you'll have a tab for each of your lessons. So for pre-K four, we have a selection of a STEAM activity, language and literacy, physical development, interactive reading, and a cognitive lesson. All of our lessons are laid out the same way, so it's really easy to toggle in between age groups and lessons once you get familiar with the format. At the top, you'll have your topic and activity name. So we have our classroom family unit here with Lama Lama Mrs. Mama. We have our objective, which is coded with our Learning Beyond standard, but we already have it also coded for your individual state standards. We have materials and setup. So again, nothing new or novel. You can easily find these materials or swap them out. And then we have our procedures and teacher talk. So with our lesson plans, they are numbered step by step. They're scripted. So it's really meant to be pick up and go. Long gone are the days where you have to search for lessons online and piece them together and spend hours of your weekend planning. I could just start this curriculum, pull up this lesson, and as long as I have Llama Llama Mrs. Mama, I can do this lesson without any prep at all. 
What's really nice is that it gives you everything you need, even down to what questions you ask. 90% of our lessons are gonna have those open-ended questions that we know are so important when we guide students through that inquiry process. At the bottom, you're gonna see this learning support section. So this is really how you're going to be able to adapt a pre-K four lesson for mixed age groups. With our learning supports, we're able to support those students that might not be four yet, um, or even if they are four and they just need a little more help with this skill. This is going to break down different ways to adapt the lesson, to interact with the children in ways that support them throughout our whole group time. And then sometimes you're even gonna find a full other small group lesson. So this is really gonna help your kiddos dig in deep and you'll be able to differentiate for every single, single kiddo that's in your care. On the right, you'll find social emotional development. So we know that sometimes these kiddos are with us more waking hours than they are their at-home caregiver. So we're really in charge of that whole development. So not just those academics, but we're really in charge of laying that social emotional development growth as well. Every single lesson is gonna have this built in. So you don't have to have a completely other social emotional curriculum because we've already integrated it with your academic lessons. At the bottom, you'll find these two buttons here. The first is Home Connections. This is your built-in parent newsletter. So this is going to take your parents through everything you've offered that day, even down to what books you've read and songs you've sang. If you don't get to every lesson, that's okay. This will give your parents some ideas of different activities to try at home as well. This is printable and downloadable, so you can share it however you normally share information with parents, whether that's a parent app, email, or by printing it out. The other button you'll find is Teacher Reflections. With Teacher Reflections, this will give you a quick check-in each day. So you'll just be able to answer a couple of questions here, and then this comments box is where you can answer the prompt, but you can also put any notes from the day. So anything that you wanted to change about the lesson for next time you could put here, or if you have any student notes, this is a great place to track those notes because it's gonna save day by day. Even if you're at week 50, you can go back to week one and see the notes that you've left. Our resources section is going to provide our monthly themes, curriculum map, and scope and sequence, which are going to be helpful as you plan. And then we have our teacher's guide. So with Learning Beyond, this first tile is going to give you an overview of where to find things in the curriculum. It's your first stop to really making sure you understand how to get to everything. Learning Beyond also is going to give you a calendar of all of our live trainings. So you can meet with an educational advisor anytime throughout the year to ask questions, whether it's how do I find something? How do I administer assessments? How do I adapt this lesson for my particular students? You're gonna get that one-on-one -on -one individualized support. In addition to that, all of these other tiles are going to have best practice trainings underneath them. So you'll find webinars that are five to 10 minutes each. They add up to an hour of in-service training. So all you have to do is once you complete those, send us an email and you'll get that certificate. And then we're constantly building in additional professional development choices. So all of those hours of in-service training are included with the curriculum price. Our standards tile is where you're going to find your alignment tool. Remember in the main objective, we had it coded for learning beyond standards. So all you have to do is scroll down and find your state standards. So with this one, this is our Florida standard on the left. And then on the right, you'll find the learning beyond standards. So I already have the entire curriculum aligned for you. We have our materials here. And so if you were going to do all of the lessons from pre-K four, these are the materials you would need. Again, things that you probably already have on hand or could easily find, construction paper, glue, et cetera. 
when it comes to our books, um, we try to include books that are super easy to find either at your local library, through Amazon or Lakeshore, but also a lot of our providers are using online resources for these. So don't feel like you have to buy a hundred books <laughs> in order to do this curriculum. You really can make it work for you and your budget. The last piece we have is assessments. So for each age group, you're going to have an assessment. So right now we're in pre-K four. So this would be where my four-year-olds would be whenever I assess them. Learning Beyond includes an ongoing observational assessment. So we're gonna have all of the different developmental domains, and then you're just gonna mark off not yet observed, observed or attempted or consistently or frequently. We recommend doing about three of these a year so that you can see that progress over time. And then not only is this a great student and teacher tool, but this is a great parent tool as well. You'll be able to access a blank copy of this assessment, send it home with parents, have them fill it out at home, especially right before you have that conference time. And then this can become your goal set setting sheet. With Learning Beyond, we use words like not yet observed, as opposed to some traditional assessments that use verbiage like below benchmark or give a certain score. So with the wording that we have here, it's much easier to have that those conversations with parents, especially with kiddos who are struggling. Um, so we can say, hey, these are some things we haven't seen yet, and that's okay because all skills are developmental, but here's some things you can do at home. Here's some things I'm gonna do here. When do you wanna meet back and discuss the goals we've set together. So this can really help you partner with your parents. Also, these assessments are going to save from year to year. And so like I said, you have access to all age group assessments. So if I have a student that's come to me as an infant and they stay all the way up until they go to kindergarten, I can track their progress over all of those years. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to explore the curriculum. Um, you do have access to a free trial. And so make sure that you take advantage of that, check it out with your kiddos, and really utilize all of these tools that we provided to make the learning experience amazing for your students and easier on your side.